So I was poking around on eBay and I ran across this. I don't remember what I was searching for, um, but this is a rare beast and the price was really good on it. So I picked it up. So it's kind of a, kind of a strange looking little device and it's not very big, right? It's, uh, let's see. It's only five and a half inches long and an inch and a half wide. Uh, so it's, it's pretty tiny and it is a microscope. Um, it's a very special type of microscope. So uh, almost all microscopes uh, that you've seen, a biological microscope, is that uh, the work surface is set up like this one and then all of the microscopes on top. So there's an eyepiece and there's an objective and everything looks down and then the light source comes in from behind. And so that's fine and dandy. Um, and if you have uh, ever tried to prepare microscope slides, you have to uh, put them on the slide and you have to put a cover glass on it and uh, to make the level planar. And um, there's a lot of preparation work to be done. Um, this is what's called an inverted microscope. So this, the microscope looks up and this big black thing on top is just the, uh, is just the light source. So let me, let me remove that. So this is, this is the microscope part, okay? Uh, so the eyepiece is here, it comes in, there's a mirror here, so the light comes down, it bounces this way, and then there's a mirror here and it bounces up. And so the tube, microscope tube is actually folded uh, into this kind of U-shaped thing. Uh, and then everything looks up. Uh, there is a turret, so you can rotate the uh, uh, three different microscope objectives, and, but everything looks up. So you can imagine you could put a petri dish on top of this and, and the, the liquid stays in it. And since you're looking from the bottom, the surface is planar because it's on the bottom of the slide or bottom of the petri dish. Uh, you can remove the little, the little microscope slide holders. You could put a, a petri dish on top of here. Um, and so it's, it's great for a lot of things. Uh, it's great for liquids. It's great for powders. Uh, it's great for anything that's difficult to deal with uh, looking down on top. Uh, so a lot of inverted microscopes are actually a lot more expensive than regular microscopes just because there isn't a big, a big demand for them. Um, Zeiss makes a, a real famous one. Uh, there are other inverted microscopes. So anyway, inverted microscopes are very, very cool. Now I've owned a lot of microscopes and uh, I love my stereo microscope that I have. I have a, a, a wild microscope, Switzerland. Um, I've had a, an Olympus microscope that I just loved. I got offered too good of a price on it and I sold it. Um, and the reason I sold it was it was just too darn big. It was a lovely microscope, but it was huge. And I just, I live in a small house and I just don't have room for everything. I have to make decisions of what I get to keep, what I don't get to keep. That microscope just needed to go, uh, especially for the price I got offered for it. Uh, but I've always missed it. I've always missed having that microscope. But then I found this one. I thought, oh, this is so tiny. I mean, no one's going to notice I have this one. <laughs> it's not going to take up any room at all. Um, so let's take a look at it. It has a, a, a objective over here. And to make it even smaller, you can retract that and pushes it down a little bit. And when, to, when you use it, you pull it up and rotate it and it locks in place. So that's kind of cute. Uh, there's a focus mechanism here. Um, and then there's this uh, condenser. So usually the condensers are underneath the microscope, but this is a, a condenser. It has a condenser lens in it and a light source. And uh, I can open this up and you can see it's got batteries inside. In fact, it came with Eneloop batteries, which is cool. So it's a, it's a rechargeable batteries and it's an LED based, of course. And so there's a little switch on the side here and uh, we can turn that on. And I think we can see that it's lit, it's lit up, right? So we have, uh, we have a light source. And so the light source can go, can go on top. You, you can use it without a light source. Just, just use it uh, with the sun coming down or whatever, right? Um, but, but there you go. Now you've got a, compl you've got a complete microscope. So this is uh, first developed by a company called Swift. Now they're here in San Jose, California. Um, but they stopped making them, I think, in 2006. And then uh, 
somewhere in there, they were being made in Japan. So they were designed here in California. They were manufacturers in Japan. And then when they stopped making them, the tooling, I think, went to China. And China has been continuing to, to build these things, although they are really rare and they're still hard to find. Um, and uh, it is a great microscope for field application. You can hold this thing in your hand and you can look, you can look through it and twiddle the knob so you can take this to out in the field and, and do a lot of work. Um, I hear that these are popular with veterinarians. So if you go out in the field and your cow is sick, you know, you can do a fecal swab or something and take a look for parasites and things. Um, so uh, yeah, these are really nice. So the objectives are four, 10 and 40. And you get a 10 power over here, so you get uh, 40, 100, and 400 uh, magnification. Um, yeah, what else can I, what else can I say about it? Um, I don't have any microscope slides right now. I, I thought I had some, but I, I couldn't find them, so I've ordered some microscope slides. Uh, when I get the slides, uh, I'll try to find some pond water or, or something to look at, and I'll, I'll try to shoot a video of uh, uh, through the eyepiece here, with, maybe with my cell phone. That wouldn't be ideal. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to build an adapter for this to, to mount the uh, mount the camera onto and uh, and to use this thing. But uh, I was pretty excited. Uh, it's really nice. Um, Swift, like I said, is no longer in business. This was manufactured by a company called Omax, O-M-A-X, and it is, uh, um, yeah, it's a cute little beast.